As the entire planet is well aware, actress-slash-comedian Roseanne Barr ignited a firestorm after sending out a racist tweet about Obama adviser Valerie Jarrett. In response, the ABC television network, a Disney subsidiary, quickly fired Roseanne, canceled the top-rated reboot of her iconic sitcom, and other channels are even scrubbing reruns from their platforms. Barr's colleagues in the entertainment industry have uniformly condemned her. Related developments seem to be unfolding by the minute, and Roseanne's prior off-the-wall tweets are coming under scrutiny. Roseanne has apologized and acknowledged that she let down the cast and crew. She has also been tweeting and then deleting some of her thoughts, including blaming the whole mess on Ambien. Against this general backdrop, Fox Sports radio host and blogger Clay Travis, who describes himself as a radical moderate and a First Amendment absolutist, argues that TV networks should implement a content-neutral policy in which every employee is treated similarly or, in the alternative, ban any form of politics-related punditry by their employees on social media. It's not clear if Roseanne's offensive tweet was political rather than personal, however, so Travis' thesis may or may not apply or may be more appropriate in the isolated context of ESPN, although some blue-check Twitter pundits and their followers are trying to link President Trump to the Roseanne controversy. A frequent ESPN critic, Travis described the Roseanne tweet or tweets as unhinged on his outkick the show Periscope broadcast, but also observed that Disney-owned ESPN is bringing back Keith Olbermann on SportsCenter. In a series of past tweets, the ex-MSNBC host has via social media repeatedly directed F-bombs at the president and called him a Nazi, a traitor, racist, mentally ill, and a white supremacist, Travis claimed. Travis also noted that former 6 p.m. Sports Center anchor Jamel Hill deemed the president a white supremacist on Twitter and is still on the ESPN payroll, although she is now working for the ESPN-affiliated, long-form journalism undefeated site a transfer that occurred when SC6 continued to languish in the ratings during the time that she and Michael Smith were co-hosting. In addition, Travis recalled that ESPN fired XMLB star Kurt Schilling for posting an anti-transgender meme on Facebook in connection with the North Carolina bathroom law. Travis summarized his Periscope monologue as follows. Travis went on to compare the perpetually outraged social media cohort, with its thirst for likes and follows to a niche audience video game that rewards extremism and punishes moderation. Specifically with regard to ESPN management, Travis added that either everybody has the complete right to say whatever political opinion they want, and we are not going to police it when they make political opinions outside of work hours, or you could easily say we are never going to talk about politics, this is a sports company. 